Sono Ciro Sadonne! Già! Okay. <laughs> I am okay? not okay. <laughs> I am not okay. I what? I just want to. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Mario Party C Six CPU Charity <laughs> Tournament. <What? laughs> uh, please donate to uh, the World Wildlife Fund in Australia. But what is the World Wildlife Fund in Australia? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Michael. I, you see. I Okay. Australia has been going through a lot of rough wildfires. They've been really tragic. They've been have left a really damaging impact on the wildlife. And so, what the World Wildlife Fund is doing is that they're campaigning to raise money for Australia to provide direct relief for all the habitats and animals that was that were damaged from these events. And you can help them by going to the stream description and donating to WWF Australia. Or if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, click on the link in the description that'll take you to our Tiltify campaign, and you can donate there. All right, now let's generate a random number from one to four. That'll be our difficulty. <laughs> we keep getting one every single time. Oh. That means they're all on easy. <laughs> well, good. I've never played this. <laughs> uh, can, can we just take a moment to step back and try and figure out how Eddie can get so much adrenaline from <laughs> Mario Party on the GameCube? I mean, I could never. <laughs> this was my childhood, bro. Like I, I can, okay. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I've never played a GameCube in my life. I mean, I grew up with a Wii. I mean, the so. Wii can play GameCube games, so that's how I was able to play like these. Oh, these, yeah. Mine couldn't. I had a blue Wii. It sucked. A blue Wii. Is, so is it like only the white Wii? Wii's? Only white Wii's can play GameCube games. Oh. I looked it up. I um, I tried playing it on my uh, GameCube and um. Or I tried put it, I tried um you what you have to do on the Wii is you have to like take the top part, I guess. Yeah. Or the side, I don't know, but like the skinny side and then you have to like open that up and then yeah. you get like a GameCube um disc. No. Oh no, you no, have that's like where a you connect Game the controllers. Cube. Yeah, that's where you connect the GameCube controllers and that's where you put in an SD card. And then you can put in the GameCube disc in the Wii disc slot. And then from there you just um from there, you you could like play GameCube games, right? Yeah. But I couldn't because, but like my the part where the uh, part opens up, it was like attached to the Wii, so it just didn't like the door didn't. So open. you just couldn't play. Yeah, any. so we just couldn't play anything. <laughs> oh, so cool. one day I forced it open, oh. and the Wii fell apart. <laughs> you broke the Wii. I would, yeah, we just threw it in the trash. I mean, oh. that was like years and years and years after we were done with it. I was just curious, but I, it was a very interesting. <laughs> Wii machine broke. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. The only other time that I've taken apart stuff was like, or that I've taken apart electronics was one time, I think in like 6th or 7th grade I got super bored. So I took my old iPod and I just like took a screwdriver and I just like opened it up and I just opened everything up and like I just saw all the parts and it was so cool. And the next day I brought it to school and this was like about the time that the iPhone X was coming out and everyone was obsessing over the fact that there was no home button. So, remember, yeah. on my iPod, I, like, forced out the home button, so it just didn't have a home button. I was like, check it out, I have an iPhone X, it doesn't have a home button. I and pre released awesome. iPhone X. Yes. My dad works at Apple. <laughs> <laughs> my dad nice. is Steve Jobs. Your dad, Eddie Jobs. Ed Eddie Jobs. Eddie Jobs. Yo, yeah. what is, what are we doing here? Oh, so basically what this board is, is that, um, when someone gets to the end of the road, they go onto a boat, and the boat has uh, DK rights, and DK rights gives you a star. But then he switches place with Bowser anti rights, and he—if you reach him, he takes away a star. But then he switches places with DK. Interesting. So yeah, it's kind of like a race to the finish, but also not. What is Toad? <laughs> He's a, are these CP? <laughs> oh, you're Mario. So no, I'm not. I'm not Mario. Done. CPU tournament. Oh, <laughs> I'm touching that? the controller, see? <laughs> Why are they all just standing? Can they do something? <laughs> Why is he. What is it? Oh, come on, Toad. Because he said it's easy. This is like. <laughs> it's like watching, like. Oh my god. My, uh. Like a few uh, years ago or something, my little cousin had a track meet. It was like two. Yeah. And it was like just for like kids to run a race, and it was like 10 meters. 
And it, it's like, this is like watching that. It was just all of them like tripping and falling, and then some uh. of them were like crawling on the race. Oh, Toad Mouth. Oh, finally, Toad Mouth. <laughs> This is pain. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the I like thinking of easy CPU matches as like really bad sporting events that you like. You're kind of mad that you paid to get into them, but also you're kind of entertained because everyone's it's just entertaining because of like how stupid it is. <laughs> I don't like, think anyone's gotten past as <laughs> <the second part. laughs> come on, come on, Waluigi, you can do this. Waluigi will come this. from behind. Oh, oh, come on. I like how Mario just got ahead of everyone for a brief moment, even though he failed the jump. Oh my god. I was like perfect timing for Mario. So, what, come on, Mario! Come on, Mario! Come on! I, I know you can do this. Come on, please, please! No, Everyone else is down. just standing Stop, there. Please. please, Mario, don't. And then Mario just decided, "Hey guys, I want to play Mario, the game." Mario, please! Oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, He's thank almost God, to the end. Happened. Come on, Mario! Okay, come on, just jump, just jump, Mario! just jump. Okay, good. Good, go, go. Okay. He's actually doing pretty well for an okay. easy CPU. I. Okay. Oh, oh, thank God! That was. Thank <laughs> I was like, there's no way he's gonna fall right there. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mario. Well, sometimes they find a way, you know? It was first, second, third, fourth. Ooh. What is. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Go Toad, the pipe board. You found three coins. Oh, that's marvelous. What is. Three entire coins, that's one for each gender. Eddie, what? <laughs> Let's not. Okay. Why did he use that? Everyone was so close with each other. Two, one. That that or makes you swap places with whoever. Oh wow. Wait, that, what is that vulture? That, Why did that, that takes you to the start. So that that kind of just screwed him. You're doing so well, man. <laughs> now you're really gonna let Mario win. Oh wait, no, Daisy's winning. How is Daisy winning? Because basically, when two people have the same amount of stars, whoever has more coins is considered like in the lead. But they all have no stars. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah that's why. So yeah. it's just because no one has stars. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come on, come on. Oh wait, why is it a three v one? That's not. Because so the type of mini game fair. that you play is based on the uh, spaces people land on. So if two people ra land on a red space and two people land on a blue space, it's like a two v two. Oh wait, but does Toad get like advantages? Uh, it really depends on the mini game, cause one v three is by far the like worst mini game category, cause it's either waited for the one or waited for the three. Yeah, they try to be balanced. They're not. This one, Toad's just gonna win this one. Don't don't stand right in front of the lead. <laughs> I was just oh, you with my laser you blade. Right in front of the. I like how you're so frustrated about these <laughs> CPUs. <laughs> I love how, like, game. how do you, you, you're just getting, like, all these, like, massive bursts of adrenaline watching, <laughs> like, Mario jump in a pit of lava when he could have just stood there. I guarantee that's gonna happen. I'm calling it. I'm, that's gonna happen in this game. It's like... Because I'm, like, the only person in their school who finds Mario Party exciting. That's no, why. it's like when you're, it's like when you give your little sibling Minecraft and then they make, like, a pen of creepers. That's happened before. I gave my little sister, like, Minecraft when I was, like, a lot younger. And then she, like, she said that the creepers looked cute. So she t tried to take a bunch of them. And she tried making, like, a pen out of them. And she tried to, like, keep them. How does that even work? <laughs> she would, like, try and lure them over and then just, like, build a fence around them. Oh, a pen. I thought you meant, like, an actual, like, writing pen. Not, like, <laughs> uh, not, like the farm kind of pen with, like, the fences. How would that work? I, I, that's what I asked. No, like she would try and make like, a creeper farm, and she was like confused why they would always blow up for her. <laughs> I'm like, Lauren. <laughs> and I had to delete that world because there were just so many explosions. Like, she blew up all of my farms and everything. It was horrible. The world was directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen those on YouTube, like, like any movie, but it's directed by Michael Bay. I've seen, like, i seen one video where it's like up, but it's directed by Michael Bay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what are like the greatest YouTube videos of all time? Okay, uh, I think the Bill Wirtz, a lot of Bill Wirtz videos are Bill up Wirtz there. Bill are up there. The history of the entire world, I guess, is one of one of the greatest video videos of all time. One of the greatest videos for me would have to be like in the early '90s when like grunge rock was kind of a thing. It was this band Nirvana, you know them, right? Ah, oh, Nirvana. It smells like yeah. Teen Spirit, and that was huge. So the uh, 
One of my favorite YouTube videos is of Kurt Cobain. He, or th what they were doing was, he hated, he loved performing live. He hated, like, lip singing and recording and stuff. Yeah. So there was this one, um, so what they had him do was they would, um, play the music in the back, and they would, like, pretend to play their instruments, but they would do the vocals live. So what would happen, so what they did was they hated that. So Kurt Cobain, he was, like, not even playing his guitar. He would just, like, do a flat <laughs> hand over it, and, like, you could just, like, nothing was happening, like... He wasn't even playing it. The drummer was just hitting the cymbals, nothing else. The bassist was like throwing his bass all over the place. And like the crowd was just going wild. It was just it was that that is up there going mine. Is that I didn't actually notice that was in the actual vi music video for Oh wait no, not for smells like Goose. That's not uh, in the actual music video. That's a uh, different one. Okay. But, um, oh my god, I love it so much. Wait, what else is up there? Me at the Zoo is one of the classics. The first video, the first installment always wins. It's that not. Is no, no the, it, it doesn't. It doesn't win, but it's an honorable mention. It's an honorable mention. Okay. What else is there? There's um. I'm trying to think. What are like good like old? Revenge. Like, oh, that's revenge. a classic. I don't think it wins. I don't think it takes the cake, but it's a classic. It became a meme, oh and. God. I think it's like I I respect it, you know. Like I respect it, especially for the time. It's we're like making uh like d put making a music video and uh, me making a song to like be in Minecraft lyrics was an original idea. Well, until it was like done every until like everyone did it for every song. At the Take time. on me. The best parodies are from um Weird Al. You ever heard of Weird Al? Oh yeah, like, Weird Al. I love Weird Al. Oh, I Al. love him. My mom used to have like a bunch of his sleeves, but I'm so mad at her that she threw him out when she was younger. Oh my god, I would have loved to have those. I like the Weird Al uh, music video where it's like, it's a parody of Trapped in the Closet, but like, instead it's just about two people going through a drive to and it's like so funny. <laughs> nice. Wait, what is finish? It's like... Uh-oh. Who won? Oh, this I is a uh, like coin collecting mini game. So basically, everyone oh. gets coins. Oh yeah, and because I saw. Of that, everyone wins. Why is Daisy just destroying everybody? Well, it's actually pretty early in the game, so anything can happen. Because uh. right now, I don't. Is Daisy the furthest ahead, or I think it's Waluigi actually. It's the furthest. Yeah, but Daisy has the most coins. Oh well, wait, but Waluigi. Once you buy a star, to get a star, yeah. Uh, Oh, it is pretty close though. Oh, there we go. Ten. Uh oh. DK writes. What the? What is that? Is that a? It's his bow. Choice future star. Oh, you got a star now. He wins. Yeah. Or he's ahead. He's in first. So now Daisy is in second. Mario is in third. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's how it works. So you're learning that's more neat. about Mario Party, you know? I cool. bet all three of those CPUs could probably beat me with that. <laughs> well, here's the thing, dude. That's an easy. I know. <laughs> I don't. I'm not good at video games, Eddie. Oh, that was actually a bad decision for him to go left, because what that happening space does is that it switches the position of Bowser and DK. So instead of Bowser being at the front, now DK is back at the front again. Uh, wait, DK is not playing. Oh wait. Yeah. No, no. They give the stars. They give him take away the stars. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mario Boy. Five. Two, I love seven. how like relaxing the music for this board is. Like, you can't hear it that well, but like, it's like I can hear it. Yeah, it's pretty soothing. It's just kind of like easy. Yeah. easy oh breezy. yeah. Speaking of easy music, you know that uh, lo-fi chill beats to lo-fi beats to study slash relax yeah, to the best. Yeah, that stream ended. <laughs> Oh, it, that's like, one. Of, that was one of the greatest YouTube videos, but it just ended because it was taken down. Oh, YouTube. wait, really? So now the official timestamp is like three thousand or like eight thousand hours. Or something. Wait, really? That's insane. Yeah. It was, so it was just one continuous stream going on for eight thousand hours. Yeah, and they just played music, and then people were just like tuning. I I used how to do many, that. Like, how last long year. is that? <laughs> like, I I know it was going on for like a few years, but it ended. Which is kind of like sad for me. I didn't even know that. No, I'm sad. <laughs> it was probably one of the longest streams in YouTube history. Probably. Or one of the most when, like, like, famous. The longest video on YouTube was like 300 hours long. No, the longest video on YouTube was probably like a B movie parody where it was like the B movie, but every time they say B, 
the entire Shrek trilogy plays, and then every time Shrek says donkey, um, every SpongeBob SquarePants episode in reverse plays, and um, I think every time Spo- every time SpongeBob is on screen, or every time like the color green <laughs> is in the. Is well, in here's the, the thing. Um, that's like an image, right? That doesn't count. Like no, like every video. no, but for every frame that like the color green is on there, it would be like the entire. I don't know. Fanboy and Chum Chum <laughs> series. <laughs> oh, fanboy and Like, they would just go crazy insane, and I don't know how they upload it to YouTube. I don't know how they, like, make that. They would probably need some kind of, like, real, real nice software to make that. Why are they standing... Why are they running <laughs> into Cacti? Because <laughs> you're stupid, that's why. <laughs> Finish. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Fatter, I like flatter. How... I have no idea Ooh. when that was. Sup? Good to see another WarioWare, WarioWare player here. Oh yeah, I played WarioWare. Yo. I was like, I I think like when I played WarioWare Gold, I was like, you know what? I just want like, I want to like just like see how how, how far I can go with like the scores. And so like I just grinded them, and eventually I got to like I got one of the levels to like 600. And I was like, yo, wait, can I put these on an online leaderboard? There's got to be an online leaderboard, and there was. And say, so, you know what? I'm just going to reach the max score on some of these levels. And I did. I got to like 9, 999, like several of them. And I can flex on them in the future by having future Eddie edit some pictures. I, WarioWare was such a great game. I, I don't know which one I had, but I had one of them on my DS. And it was oh, just, WarioWare Touch. Which is oh. so fun. Ah, yeah. Ah, like, oh, bro. No, the, awesome. the greatest game of all time for me. Like, the, like, the mo- I'm sorry, not the greatest, the most classic game of all time for me would probably have to be uh, Super Mario 64. For the DS. Has to be the DS. For the DS. Oh, yeah. 3D a- Marios, man. They're so, they're consistently good. I love all the 3D Mario games. Of the 3D Mario games, I've, I think I've played all of them at least once at different occasions. The number one greatest 3D Mario game would have to be 64 on the DS. Ha- it has to be. All right, and then after that, that, Odyssey. Ooh, Odyssey. Though, so that that's that's my favorite of the Even though Mario Odyssey games. is like if they if Odyssey was released in 1996, it would be infinitely better than 64. But just because 64 was like it, it was just so like I don't know how to describe it. It's just for the time, it was like just so amazing because yeah. you wouldn't find any other games like that. It was like the first 3D Mario game ever. So if you want to play like the 3D Sonic games, just, just no. Yeah, it aged way better than Sonic Adventure's thing. Which is like those is not pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Like I remember when the internet was like, Oh yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 is awesome and then and then it suddenly became no it sucks and then it became no it's awesome and then no one really has any idea what's a good Sonic game is anymore. Worst game console of all time. Sega Saturn. Ooh. Hmm. I like name a single good game for the Sega Saturn. Well not like just like an acceptable game. Sonic R. <laughs> Sonic R. Can you feel the sunshine? Okay, that had one of the greatest soundtracks of all time. It was, it was just so, like, ironically, it was just so obnoxious. Uh, I kind of feel like Atari is worse, though, because, like, you know, like, they had, you know the video game, like, Crash of, like, uh, like, the 80s, right? They just oh, released yeah, a yeah, bunch, yeah. they rushed a bunch of bad games, and, like, it's like... It, it just sucked. Yeah, like, it was one of the first consoles, but, like... I don't know, Pong can only do so much, man. I know, it, you can't. Tetris was probably, like, the greatest game of the 80s. Okay? You cannot, <laughs> like, Tetris it's just... Tetris is timeless. You cannot, like, there's not a single time when I was, like... I can, like... Ooh! Tetris has saved me from so many math classes. Fatter Platter, thank you for following! Yo, dude. Yeah, thank nice to have you, like, on board, you know? Yeah, we're Yo. gonna do some more of these, uh, streams, and it's gonna be fun. So, um... Oh yeah, Tetris. Yeah. After Tetris, the greatest game of all time would obviously have to be Minecraft. But then second place, a very close second, would have to be Breath of the Wild. Ooh, those are all really good games. I think... No, Tetris, 64, Breath of the Wild, and Minecraft are just like... Four at the very top. And then there's nothing below them for miles and miles. Yeah, I love... I like your nominations. Okay. Like, Minecraft, definitely, like... Like if it was I, yeah. such like it was like ba- it defined like my middle school years basically with like how like the, the community was like so big there were so many like popular people like you could just like talk about Minecraft to anybody 
Yeah, exactly. Any, well, literally anybody. And you can just, like, have a, like, a very interesting conversation. Well, interesting for the time. It yeah. was... Wait, it was, like, 2011 when the... It was, like, it, it released was in 2010, release. right? Though I, I think, think the full release was, like, in 2010, 11 or 12, I don't know. But it was, like... Around, around that, that time. time. So, like, for me, when I was, like... You know, I don't... I'm, I think it was, like... Maybe 2015? No. 20, like, 14, 13 was, like, kind of, like, the golden age of Minecraft. No, 2012 was, like, the golden age, because that was the, uh... Revenge. That, yeah. Or 2000. Yeah, that, like, around 2012 was, like, the golden age. And then, so, I don't know why it started to come back, but it just did. I mean, it's, I guess people just never forgot about it. I, because the thing is, like, it got popular, and then because of that, when, you know when things get popular, they get, like, a really bad fan base? Yeah. Like, that's, that's kind of what happened to Minecraft, because, like, ev there were a lot of, like, little kids that, you know, like, that were, they were, like, easy to make fun of, and, like, they were toxic, uh, there were a lot of toxic people. And in general, like, people do not like the Minecraft community at all. There's three types of people who play games in my opinion. There's like, there's kids, right? Who's yeah. just like, you know, maybe they just got their first console and they're just trying to just, you know, play some games and just have fun. They're probably not great at it, but they're just, my, you know, they're not like hurting anyone. They're just, do, they're just doing their own thing, right? Right. Then there's the, um, then there's like just the casual people who play video games. Like, and that can span from anywhere from people who play maybe, like, not very often like me to, you know, you who spends probably a bit more time playing video games than I do. Yeah. And, I mean, you are clearly way better versed in computers and this kind of stuff than <laughs> I am, but, okay. you know, just, like, casual kind of... I mean, it's not really a career or anything. And then there's the third category. Reddit. Okay? <laughs> they just kind of... <laughs> I like how you just Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. Okay, who, like... They will take, like, an eight-year-old child and then, like, just completely, like, I don't know, like, if an eight-year-old child makes, like, a mistake on a game, then Reddit will just start, like, beating them to death <laughs> and then make them not want to play the game anymore, which is, like, not okay because the kid is just wants to, like, have fun. I mean, that doesn't go for every person on Reddit, but, like, yeah. I feel they like they have a tendency to do that. <laughs> every social media site, man, like social media in general, is kind of just like it's over etiquette. I have the moral high ground. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I have social media is just to keep in touch with like cousins. Yeah. But it's just, oh my god. Oh, I forgot the fourth category of gamers. Then there's like the adults who are like still doing it, probably either because like they do it for a career. Or just because they haven't, like, they've kept, they just never stopped as, like, a kid. There's that fourth category. That, they don't really fit in, like, the casual gamer thing. And then like there's that. the fifth ca category, where it's like, Oh, yes, I, I used to play, I, I totally know what a Pikachu is. Hey, is that, is that a... No, they are not gamers. Anymore. <laughs> they don't even fall. <laughs> and then there's, like, that's how it goes for games. And then there's, like, Oh my god, don't even get me started on, like, music, because there's at least, like, 12 different categories of people per genre. But video games are just, like, weird. Yeah. Oh, and then there's, like... I... Alright, in my opinion... In my opinion... The 20... What do you... Alright, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna ask you, what was the best decade? Ah, oh, okay. So here's the thing, right? When you're a 2000s kid, you hear everything from 90s kids telling you that the 90s were the best, best decade. But if you're a 90s kid, you hear everything from 80s kids telling you the 80s were the best decade. And right now, we're in the two, like... And then if you're an 80s kid, you're hearing all the boomers say that the 80s yeah. suck. Yeah, and like right now, like, because we grew up in the 2000s, a lot of 2000s people were like, oh, the 2010s kids suck. They only care about, like, TikTok and stuff. And like... They do. <laughs> yeah, some of them kind of suck, but like, I feel like... You can't- I don't think there's the best decade is the thing. It's just like, you're like- They were all kind of good in their own respect. Yeah, it's just like, kind of like life, you know? It's just like your childhood. I think that, um, well, like, the the 70s and like, before the 70s was kind of like, okay. Like, there was nothing phenomenal about video games then, because, I mean, nobody really cared about video games in the 70s. But like, the 80s was kind of when it picked up, like, the NES, I think that was kind of like, the start of like- Oh, definitely. The, like, Super Mario Bros. was kind of what started modern video games, and it kind of took us off of, like, the Pong era. 
Because, like, nobody's gonna want to sit down and play Pong for three hours. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, if you, I were to sit down for Mario and play that for three hours, I, yeah, I mean, I could do that. I mean, just look at, like, what the Mario series has turned into now, you know? Like... I agree. Super Mario Odyssey, man. I love that game. <laughs> and then, well, the 90s, they were kind of, like... Well, the 90s were kind of that awkward... Alright, we're trying to get into 3D. But we kind of, or they were, that was like the refining of the 2D games. Yeah. Like Mario for the SNES. Super was, Mario World. That man. was, that was amazing. Yeah, I love how you can but, like, I love, I love virtual console. Cause you can like, like, now anyone can like revisit like old games and like pretty much anyone can grow up with like any game now. And then there were, yeah. And then there was like that awkward transition into 3D games. Where the only good 3D game from the 90s, in my opinion, was 64. Of course, as you probably saw coming. <laughs> yeah. Every other 3D game in the 90s was not good. I mean, like, Crash Bandicoot was pretty good. Okay, that was okay, yeah. but it, I don't really know if I'd call that 3D. You were kind of still in like a 2D axis. Well, it was like a 3D platformer. It was like it, it's like a th it's like. There were like it was like a 2D axis, yeah. but it was a 3D render. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it was an open world basically. You could remake that game into 2D. You could. You cannot make Super Mario 64 into 3D, but you can make Crash Bandicoot into 2D. Well, uh, I I kind of want to argue with that because like a lot of Crash Bandicoot levels, like they have to be like in 3D, like the, especially like the Boulder Chase ones, where you're like going towards the camera, or like when you're going like away from the camera, like. Like, a lot of... I just feel like, uh, being a 3D platformer, like... That's, that, that is what kind of, like, defined, like, Crash. I think that, um... Alright, well, I think Crash was, like... I mean, I know my one cousin in Boston, he loves Crash Bandicoot. Like, he would put that above Mario for some reason. I don't know why he would do that, but he does. I mean, he's just a total... That. I mean, he also, he, the only reason he likes PlayStation is before Crash Bandicoot. And, you know, I mean, I can understand that. I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion. The only opinion you're not entitled to is that Sonic R is the greatest game. <laughs> like, I mean, I get that you have a First Amendment and all, but if you're going to say Sonic R is the greatest game, then just, just shut up. Can just, you feel the sunshine? <laughs> no. I mean, I can, it's, I just cannot get behind that. <laughs> Oh yeah, the 2000s, they were, like, the GameCube, that was probably one of the greatest consoles of all time. Oh my gosh, I love GameCube. The Wii was kind of what brought video games to, like, everyone. Like, now an 80-year-old man can play like, the Wii. <laughs> yeah. The, um... What was The Wii U, or wait, the Wii U was later, never mind. The, um... What was, like, what was going on with, like, Xbox and PlayStation? I think... Oh, the PS2. Yeah, the same... I think... Our, the same generation of as the Wii would be Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. That would be... That would be, like, that generation of uh, consoles. Interesting. Yeah. The, um... I think the reason that so many people bought a PS2 wasn't so much for the games, but just for the DVD player. Because, like, when CDs first came out in the 80s, okay, everyone, like, kind of threw away their record players. Everyone just got rid of those, and everyone was like, alright, let's get these CDs. Or they threw away their cassettes, they threw away their records, they just bought all these CDs, man. Because they did not, they were completely done with all this old stuff, and they wanted to do that for themselves. But then when DVDs came out, nobody really did that. Nobody really got rid of everything and bought all these new DVDs because DVDs, people weren't that passionate about DVDs as they were music, right? Yeah. So nobody really bought DVDs as much as they bought them. Um, or nobody, like, was that crazy to get a DVD player. And they were way too expensive to... Like, they were way too expensive and there was too little a need for anyone to really want to buy a DVD player. But then the PS2 came out. And the PS2 was, like, really the only console at the time that had a DVD player and you could play video games. So then everyone kind of went, oh, well, I can get I can get a DVD player, right? But I can also play these neat little video games. And it was fairly cheap for the tool. Or for the two-in-one. So I think that was really why everyone wanted a PS2. Yeah. It was just for the DVD player, not for the actual games. And it's kind of like... 
crazy because like I don't think anything ever comes out on like DVD anymore. It's all like digital stuff. Nobody does DVD. No, no, no. The only way <laughs> what everyone does now is they go on Google Drive. You, you, they look up any movie and then they just put Google Drive after it and then you can find any movie. <laughs> I mean, it's technically pirated, but shh. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Or you could visit illegal websites and just not get caught. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's hard when you can just type in Google Drive into Google. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, probably the best, um... Oh, wait, what comes after the 2000s? Uh... <laughs> <Ends. laughs> yeah? We you suck. Okay, I... I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. I don't oh. think the Wii U was, like... You know, it's not, like, the best, but I think it had really good games. Because I loved. Okay. I loved. Like, I can understand that. I could name a lot of them. For me, I I would not have wanted a Wii U because the Wii U was kind of like party games. Like you need a lot of people to enjoy them. Like Super Smash Bros. You would need. I mean, there was Super well, Smash Bros. for the Wii U, which was really like the biggest reason to get a Wii U. And then there was like a bunch of other games that didn't really work with. Me. They, that, they didn't really, like, you couldn't really play, like, single player and just spend, like, a few hours a week, on a weekend to just play that. Well, you know? I mean, like, I think there are a lot of games like that. Like, Pikmin 3, um, uh, Tropical okay. Freeze, Captain Toad, like, uh, Smash and Mario Kart, as you mentioned. Okay. And yeah. then, you know, like... I think all of those games are kind of, like, more fun with more people, though. Like, you can't get the most out of the single player. And the I, reason that I like the Switch so much is because you kind of can have that with single player. Yeah. Like, I agree with what Fatter Platter is saying. I think the Wii U has good games, but I don't think it had, like, good advertising. I, yeah. You just, wait, let me read that. The Wii U had a good catalog, especially with a few friends. However, the execution and poor advertising caused its downfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember thinking... I remember thinking that you would just buy the gamepad and yeah. then it would connect to Like how they would advertise that in E3 as the right. new controller. And I had no idea what was happening. So we yeah. just didn't buy it because it was like too risky. But then when the Switch came out, I was like, yeah, I kind of have to get this. And I got it that Christmas. I didn't get it. Um, I didn't get it right away. I got it that Christmas because I thought, oh, well, maybe the prices will drop. I, I mean, I wasn't that crazy over the Switch because... I mean, I didn't need it right now, so I, I I just waited because maybe it would be easier to get or something. So I, I just waited till Christmas and I got it then. But yeah. you know, it was very um. Or no, what we did was we bought it in like September. We just bought it that early before like the whole Christmas night shopping. Twenty first of September. Do you remember? <laughs> that was a great song. <laughs> I um. That's what. That's when I got my Switch, and I would argue that the Switch is the greatest video game console. Of all I do time. love the Switch, man. Like, like it's just so like you can bring it's, it's like a DS. Like you can bring it anywhere, and you can also just. You can I bring my Switch play it to school every day, and we like I play like Smash with like Kyle and Tyler, and this is like a really dope. Oh, I don't bring my I Switch study to school every day. But... Uh, most days. Uh, yeah. I don't have any study holes. It sucks. <laughs> I mean, but, well, you're a senior. Yeah, so that's why I have a study hall, you know. Like, I know, like, I'd say senior year is definitely like very chill. I've heard a lot of people say that senior year is the easiest. The only real thing that you have to like actually do is your SGP. Is that, is that right? Yeah, and that's what I'm doing right now. So you know, it's yeah. chill. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I'm a, and I like all that I really have to do this year is just. It's literally just another year of um, middle school. Eighth grade 2.0. Yes, eighth grade two. <laughs> Ninth grade is just eighth grade two. Because, I mean, they pretty much give you all your classes. The only thing that you get to pick is your foreign language. Yeah. So, I, I mean, there's really nothing interesting happening this year. The only, only thing is on... Um, oh, yeah, but you can... Yeah, your foreign language is really the only thing you get to pick. And then honors or CP, but you don't get to pick any of the actual courses. Next year, I finally get to choose, like, electives and stuff, which I think are neat. I definitely think, like, I mean, like, I think freshman year was the least enjoyable for me. That or junior year, but junior year was only because I, like, re I, like, I was demotivated from, like, all the work that I kept getting. But, like, I think uh, freshman year, like... Uh, for those in the stream who don't know, like, 
The school kind of gives the use of classes for freshman year because there is something called Digital Academy, oh, which is so unnecessary. They they spend an entire class teaching you how to use Google Drive. <laughs> And that's one of your courses, like, you can't substitute it for, like, a business class. You have to learn how to use Google Drive, and you have to learn how to use Photoshop. Which, A, I figured out how to use Photoshop in my own time. It took me 15 minutes. <laughs> and Google Drive, I've known how to use since middle school. So I think that class was completely worthless for me. It, I think it is definitely the most worthless class. I mean, teen issues is kind of only there because, like, state law, probably. Yeah. And then, um... I, like, teen issues, I can understand, but, like, Digital Academy, like... Digital Academy sucked. <laughs> what else am I taking? Math, that's kind of essential. English, kind of essential. History is Common kind of core essential. stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, German, you kind of need... You would kind of need to know a foreign language. I mean, it helps you. Definitely. Gym class kind of, I don't like, I don't wanna, I mean, I don't see any reason why I would have to do gym class, because I have a sport. I do, I'm, I have some kind of sport to play, like, for the school every, um, every semester, so I don't see why I would have to go to gym class. It's not like I'm not physically active. Gym I, class to me should just be for the kids that don't really do any sports. Yeah. And they just need some kind, they just need to, like, get out and move. But I, I, I don't, that's not me. I, can, I, I hated gym class so much that, in, uh, that like, I think uh, in junior year, like, over the summer, I just took, like, um, online independent physical education course and just, oh, like, yeah. I mean, I, I like gym class because you get to not sit in a chair and you get to go out and move and like, play a game or something. But, I mean, I don't like it, too, because I could be doing something better in that time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know what I mean. See, what, I, what was I gonna choose for? Wait, Eddie, what electives did you do? Uh, for like sophomore year, or, or like, just in general, like. So, I think in sophomore year I did studio art and intro to computer science, oh. and then because of that I was I took um, AP science, HP computer science in VHS for junior year, and then and then also foreign language. And then senior year, I think. Oh yeah, wait. Sophomore year was it wasn't studio art; it was drawing, which is also kind of like studio art, which is the one I'm taking now. Because mm -hmm. uh, the only difference is that I think drawing is like half year, whereas studio art is like year long. Uh, so yeah, studio art is, and um, my AP AP language is the AP French. That's there's, there's the two uh, electives I'm taking this year. That's me. Yeah. I'm taking a... Yeah, oh yeah, I'm taking the one with kids, like where you run the daycare, which I thought would be really fun. I don't know, I'm doing the... Uh, oh, I'm doing psych, psychology. And I think there's a... I forget the other ones, man. I don't know. <laughs> those I, are kind of um, like, those courses are kind of interesting to me. The, like, the one I don't, the one that I really don't want to do is real history. Like real R-E-E-L, like movie history. <laughs> That I don't understand. Like, I mean, movies are like fun to watch. And all, I mean, some I people like how... like some people like uh, movie history. Like, it's kind of like, oh, see you, Fire Platter. Nice having you. See you, man. I like. I mean, I can see how it would be. I think that'd be interesting to spend like 15 minutes talking about, but not like an entire course. Movies just don't really interest me. Like, I don't see anything. Like what? What do you do with movies? You just kind you of make a, you, you make them. Well, I mean, you you can watch movies, but you just kind of watch them. But they don't really make you think or anything. Well, I mean, some can, some definitely do, but yeah. not a lot of them. Most of them don't. I mean, I kind of disagree with that. I think like 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 movies is kind of like just you know like another art form, like video games or like books or like you know okay. things like that. Like yeah, like I mean, it's just like something to like enjoy and like something for like you know. It's just like a storytelling device, you know? I think... Oh, yeah. I mean, I think... I mean, what art? I, you can pretty much say, like, you can pretty much take anything and say it's art. There's a very fuzzy... There's a very fuzzy line. And that's why Dada is doesn't exist. Why what? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you'll learn about it in AP Euro. Okay. <laughs> because, like, you know about Picasso, right? You could pretty much call anything art. Like, yeah. he, uh, like, he would go out to a store, and then, he, like, to pay for just about anything. He would, um, what he would do is he would, like, ask for a piece of paper and a pen. He would draw something, he would sign it, and then that's how he would pay. 
because like it's just worth like for some like for really for expensive stuff that's like worth hundreds of bucks. That's how you pay for it, just because it's like stuff is so valuable, which I think is like interest. I don't know if it's art at that point because you're not really putting the time or thought into making it meaningful. You're just kind of so he would like draw something in order to pay for another like uh, painting. Like yo, can I get this? iPhone. I mean, obviously they wouldn't have iPhones at the time, but like, if he wanted an iPhone, how he would probably pay for it? Probably like take a piece of paper or <laughs> something and sign it. That's how he would probably pay for like an iPhone. Which uh, I don't. Is that actually how he paid for stuff? Yeah, that's how he paid for stuff. Okay. Like especially in like bars, he would just go there and drink all day, and then that's how he would pay. Which I like anything. Which I mean, I can see how some stuff would be art, but like I don't know if that would be art just because there's not thought. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean. Like... I mean, if you're gonna get... I mean, not everything has to be super intellectual. Right. Like, like my favorite music, my favorite artist, like, music, like, in terms of music, would probably have to be Bob Dylan, just because he makes you think so much. But not everything has to be, like, super crazy intellectual. I mean, art can just simply be pleasing to look at. And that's yeah. Like, or, like, just something like, you did for fun, you know? Like, I like, mean... Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of songs out there that are instrumental. I mean, instrumental songs aren't supposed to make you think about something philosophical. They're just supposed to be nice to sit down to and just listen to. Well, like, they sometimes can. Well, I mean, of course, but... Yeah. It's not always supposed to be... It's not always supposed to be, like, intellectual. You just enjoy it, you know? Yeah. Or just watch it for fun or something. I mean, I can see it spending a day in, like, the Philadelphia Art Museum or something. I can see that. But... Oh, yeah, I've been to art museums. They're pretty nice. Oh, I've never been to a museum. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think they'd be cool. Again, I've been to I think museums museum. are oh, pretty no, cool. No, don't, don't go down. Oh, you... <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, you already won. Did... Oh, wait, no, we didn't. I like how all of you are just jittering on my like, dude. <laughs> I like how Mario is inefficient in trying to kill them. Like, look at that. Oh, oh that was close. Oh, I thought you could kill them. <laughs> He's not oh, even tilting the box. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. <laughs> you, you were so close. Oh my god, that was terrible. I was just... This is one of the worst minigames in the, in the game. Because, <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, I agree. Eddie, what kind of music do you listen to? Alright, well, I really like listening to video game music. Video games. Like, I, I put on Pokemon music every time we go into, like, intermission or every time I start a stream. Because I just find it, like, so, like, relaxing. And on the other hand, you got, like, Mario, where it's, like, very, like, upbeat, like, jazzy kind of stuff. Like, da 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 The only mute, the only song that I just cannot stand someone from Odyssey like jump up superstars I cannot well that's probably because it like everyone was like it's just so overplayed like everyone yeah. just constantly I kind of get that like because like let it go from Frozen like everyone was, was over overplaying that and I feel like I have a little sister she's in eighth grade now so she was like about seven or eight by the time Frozen was out yeah so she would we bought the Frozen CD we played it in my mom's 80s Sony boombox. <laughs> Vietnam War was... flashbacks. <laughs> oh my god, just through the entire house you just hear, Let it go! Let, Let it go! go! Every hour of like every day. So my mom made a rule, no music on Sunday. And by oh. no music, she meant like frozen music. Just so we could like not have to just so we could have like the one day of the week we could just have some peace and quiet she went full coco on that wow <laughs> like, like oh my god dude. let it go is banned let you're not allowed from the house. i mean every other day of the week it was fine but you know we just needed a break yeah, yeah i kind of get that like i feel like i feel like that kind of like you know like extreme like popularity and stuff like oh. I think, I think Let It Go is a good song, but like, I wouldn't like, you know, like, I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't list it as like, I would one of my like, I favorite like, 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 yeah, songs ever. Oh, like, I have a favorite songs list. I want to hear what you think of it, Eddie. Right. I don't know if you'd know. I mean, you probably won't know if you have but I want to hear what you think. Alright. Oh, Freebird by Leonard Skinner is number one. You definitely don't know that. Oh, we, I mean. Wait, you know that? Every, 
I uh, like Adam and Tyler always talk about how you like they know they know your favorite song is Fever <laughs> because they, I think yeah. you, you Snapchatted and stuff. I, I put oh I've on my uh, Snapchat story I post a lot of music. Oh, yeah. what do I have posted. Now? I think I remember at one point you said like forget Fever the Star Spangled Banner is like yeah, the greatest was, song no, of all time. <laughs> no doubt there the Star Spangled Banner obviously takes the cake but just because it's so much better than every song okay it, we just take it off the list just because it's like assumed at this point okay <laughs> after Freebird Hurricane by Bob Dylan is the second and Untangled Up in Blue Bob Dylan I don't think you know so you, you, you really like Bob Dylan I, I, I very much like Bob Dylan yes alright I respect that The Stranger by Billy Joel number four Space Oddity David Bowie stop me if you hear a song that you know here comes the sun, the Beatles. I'm a huge Beatles fan. Clocks by Coldplay, the first song that isn't in the 60s or 70s. <laughs> Eight, Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. Okay, I know that the one. The only other song that's not in the 60s or 70s. Like a Rolling Stone, Bob Dylan, number nine. Let It Ride by the Bachman Turner Overdrive, number 10. What I Say by Ray Charles. California Dreamin', Mamas and the Papas. Ballad of a Thin Man by the man himself, Bob Dylan. Come Together by the Beatles. A Day in the Life by the Beatles. Um, what's Going On, Marvin Gaye. Kid Charlemagne, Steely Dan. Imagine John Lennon, which you must have heard. Gimme Shelter, Rolling okay. Stones. A Hard Rain's Are Gonna Fall, Bob Dylan. Obla D, Obla Da, Beatles. Queen Jane, Approximately, Bob Dylan. The Sound of Silence by Simon Garfunkel. <laughs> Art of Dying by George Harrison, who used to be in the Beatles. And then Southern Man by Neil Young. I've, Do you know any of those? I'm just I have, curious. I've heard, uh, so I don't, I've heard a lot of those song titles, but I haven't heard a lot of those songs, if that makes any sense. Oh, okay, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, because, like, I definitely know, like, they're, I definitely know it's, like, popular music, I just, uh, don't have, I haven't listened to it in my own time, you know? Honestly, whenever Adam says that, um, Adam, whenever he criticizes me for thinking Freebird is the greatest song of all time, I think, all right, well, this kid thinks that Sands of Bar by Billy Joel is the greatest song of all time, <laughs> so I don't... I, I, his opinion is invalid. Oh, also, I don't like Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't think... I don't think... I don't <laughs> Which think I got a lot of hate for. Like... I think, like, Bohemian Rhapsody is kind of like... It's kind of like Let It Go, or, like, it's so popular that, like, you're kind of sick of it, you know? I... What? Did I say something wrong? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? Can I, can I just like record you saying that and send it to Tyler? Okay. You mean okay? Hold on. Ready, Eddie? Yeah. Okay, Eddie. What are your thoughts on Bohemian Rhapsody? So I think Bohemian Rhapsody is kind of like Let It Go, where like yeah. you're kind of sick of it, you know? Like it's just so popular, you kind of just have enough of it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, can I send that to Adam and Tyler? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, thank you. I mean, I don't think they like Bohemian Rhapsody either, so, you know. <laughs> I know Tyler yeah. does. They'll probably share your sentiment. Oh my god. That's legendary. I have to get him on the stack. Hi, there we go. ABR, Tyler, there we go. Anyways. <laughs> it's legendary. Um. Like you literally like got up out of your chair at the instant I say that. <laughs> Thank you. So you're like the only person that was in the marching band that understands. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't. I just don't like it. It's just. It just doesn't really have a spine to it. I mean, the whole point of it is it was like three different songs by Freddie Mercury that he kind yeah. of made into one song. But he just did it so poorly that the song doesn't really have any structure to it. Like it just doesn't. It, you, it just, like, changes so much that you can't really get into, like, a rhythm with it. Yeah, I, I mean, kind of feel that. Which, it's definitely possible to combine multiple songs. Like, A Day in the Life by the Beatles is on my list, and that was a song by Paul McCartney and a song by John Lennon that they made into one song. Which, and that turned out to be a masterpiece, but it just didn't, it just didn't work. Be, be, but only because it transitioned into the different songs. Bohemian Rhapsody doesn't really have any of that. It just kind of, I don't like it. Kind of like Under Pressure better than Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't really like... You know, my favorite Queen song is called 39. Wait, and the thing is, it's a Brian May song. It wasn't even by Freddie Mercury. <laughs> I, don't like, I, don't, I don't think it's fair to say I don't like Queen, but I don't like Freddie Mercury. 
Yeah, I mean, like, you know, that's fair. Like, like, I think the reason pop music is so popular, like, nowadays that it's so popular is just because it's, like, singers. That kind of... Like, it's just the singers and people like their voices. Big name singers. Exactly. Like, <laughs> Taylor Swift. I don't think anyone pays attention to her lyrics, but they just like her singing, and all these little girls across the world want to sing just like her. I think that's kind of the thing with Freddie Mercury. Like, people just like his singing and his voice. Yeah. Because a lot of rock, pretty much... In any time, like, all rock from the 50s to now, it's never been put any emphasis on singing. Like, in fact, again, Bob Dylan, my favorite artist. I, You know what? After, after the stream is done, I'll have to show you his voice because okay. it's just, it's terrible. His voice <laughs> is just terrible. I've gotten used to it. It's just terrible. No, like, no artist's voice is good. And we're in rock, speak. Except for Freddie Mercury. He's the only one with, like, an opera type kind of voice. Yeah. And, like, a classical music background, which is why I think people like him now is just for his voice and not for his music. You, know, you get what I mean? Not yeah. for, like, his composing. Yeah, I totally get what you mean, like... Like, what is the greatest rock band of all time? Probably the Beatles, right? Like, I they've mean, released so many good songs, and yeah. everyone can enjoy their songs, right? Yeah. I mean, even if you're, like, not a Beatles fan, you probably have one Beatles song that you've probably heard in life. Is that, like, a fair assumption to make? Yeah, that is. Okay. Now, let me show you. On, you know, if we go yeah, to Spock, Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine is good. I don't think it's one of the better Beatles songs, but it's still good. Alright, so the Beatles on Spotify. I'm looking it up right now. They have 21 million monthly listeners. We go to Queen on Spotify. They have 32 million monthly listeners. Oh, okay. Which I, I don't like that. Why does Queen have that many more listeners than I the mean, Beatles? I think they're I both like good that. bands. <laughs> I mean, they're like, both... Uh, they're okay. Okay. The Beatles are amazing, but Queen's... <laughs> okay. What else do I have on here? What, what, I'll have to, Ooh, I'm going to try and guess. Of all the artists I have saved on here, yes, I have Anthony, Antonio Vivaldi saved. Um, <laughs> Wait, is that like a, a classical music thing? It's classical music. Oh. Just because I love this. You know how we use the Four Seasons? You probably heard Summer. Which was on. If I have it. Here's the thing, I don't actually I don't listen to like, a lot of like music. Like, that's fair. That's yeah. fine. I mean, you don't have to. But his, you probably heard "Summer," which is part of his four seasons. Which I mean, that's not a bad song. But he has his one song called "Winter" yeah. from the four seasons. I love, even though it's classical music. I mean, I do, I do think "Winter" is the best season. So. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I don't really have a favorite season. Perfect. Which is the best season? I mean, my birthday is in fall. I'm gonna try and stay unbiased with fall. But then again, I also kind of like how it's like jacket weather, but it's not really jacket weather. Like, you could walk with a t shirt or you yeah. can just wear like a sweatshirt and you'll be fine either way. Yeah, fall is definitely up there. I think my least favorite would be spring because that's the allergy season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spring, I mean, it has nice weather, but it's just getting hot. In the spring. Yeah. Like, and summer is even hotter. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, I think for me, it's between winter and fall. I mean, winter is hmm. summer. Summer's just too hot. It's just uncomfortable. Like I don't. If I had to choose between being super cold and super hot, I would probably pick super cold. Yeah. Just because super hot is like uncomfortable and sweaty. Well, super uh, cold I, is like. I mean, you're cold. It's not comfortable, but it's not like hot. I definitely agree with that. Like too cold every time over too hot. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like. So then it comes down to. Well, then I don't really like winter or summer because it's too cold and too hot. So it comes down to spring and fall for me. Which I don't really get allergies from spring, so I mean, I'm kind of. I don't really care about that. But, um. What do I have to say? Probably fall for me because cross country season is fall. <laughs> I guess you I guess you could say that spring took the fall. <laughs> I actually. That's actually. <laughs> See, you just need a joke like that every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Mario. Get a cloud. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I believe in you, Mario. I don't think any of them are close to the cloud. Oh, there toad. you go. There you go. Oh. Don't move. Oh, Come on, toad. Come on. Toad. <laughs> Ooh, three stocked. Go. Clean sweep. Three stocked. <laughs> what else? Are you? So I would have to say that's the best season. Hey. Um, hmm. What about, uh, 
just have a thought. I forgot what yeah. I was gonna say. Just... Oh, we all have those moments where you like, you have something in the back of your head, and then you just forget to say it as soon as you have the opportunity to. We've all been there. <laughs> Yo, how long have we been streaming? We're at. We're at almost an hour. Almost an hour. Oh yeah. my gosh, I went by pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we're doing two games, so like, you know. Well, we haven't even filled up the chat with. You know what, I'm gonna log into Twitch on my own account and I'm gonna fill up the chat. Alright, I mean, you're I, I have to read to. down the. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for fun. Okay. Just oh. so it looks like we get, we're popular. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm on here, which automatically makes it unpopular. Watch. Just, wait, what is. Just do it to make us look cool. So on the Apple Store, it says Twitch, live, meet, live game streaming. And then under it for a caption, it says Watch Fortnite, PUBG. <laughs> You know, uh, the two greatest games of all time! That's a no for me. <laughs> Shazam doing... Alright, why do I have Pandora? I don't even use Pandora. Are you just now noticing that you have these maps you don't like? I don't even... Yeah, that I don't even like I mean, I mean, I mean that, to be fair, my phone was a hand-me-up for my little sister. I mean, that's So, fun. like, I, I had, like, TikTok on it, and I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll delete it later. Yo, we're already on here. Yeah. Wait, what's the delay between? Welcome to the chat room. It looks like a few minutes. A no, few seconds. Sorry, no, okay. Sorry. Wait, it said no drama. Uh, you've reached Yo, my did chat you, room. Did you see Megan's? <laughs> or did you see Christie's new dress? No, I Ooh. haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not V28, is oh, that, that your that, Twitch yep, name? Yep, that's me. <laughs> I forget, no, that's not my real account. I think I just made that to, like, troll a friend. Wait, let me get into my actual account. Oh, I've, I've talked about drama. I am not banned. <laughs> you are now uh, banned forever. Crap, what was my you get nothing. You uh, lose. Good day, sir. Like, oh, gee. Oh, uh, I'm not saying my email. Yeah, that, that's probably... <laughs> that's probably advisable. I keep forgetting. Oh, <laughs> uh, that tech... That, that chat message reminds me. Remember when, like, the dress was a thing? Like, where everyone was like, Oh, it's black and blue! And the other guy's like, No, it's white and gold! And everyone just kind of hated each other, even though it was just an optical illusion. Fair. Yeah. The internet... The internet's kind of dumb they sometimes. Just, you know, his username does not even. <laughs> Alright, forget this. I'm not gonna blow up the chat on my real account, but we got definitely not me 28 over there. Legendary. Yo, definitely not me 28. Welcome to the stream. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to the new stream. Glad to have you. <laughs> definitely not. Inflating it from popular. Oh, it's those stupid chomp chomps. I hated those in Mario 64. Uh, the giant one, the block. The very eight. first thing I would, yeah. And, the and, one like, the that would lunge level. out at you, like. I know you're like just trying to cross a bridge, but that thing just like takes you on the first level. It's like jump scary, you know. I um, the very first thing I would do in every world is I would go up to that thing. I would just ground pound the fence enough times to kill it. And I would just go back to the start and like start the level for real. Because like I did not want to deal with that. Oh he put the wing gaps. Oh the wing those. Ah oh, bro. You can fly, dude. Dude, the wing caps are kind of awesome. I think that was like the only like I think about the Mario 64 power is that the kind of situation with the wing cap is the wing cap is bro, it's good. I you can just fly. Yeah. What is a what's my Oh. Good job, Waluigi. Waluigi will really come from behind. Uh, right now, it looks like Daisy. Because oh. I don't think anyone's going to reach the star. How does Waluigi have 107 coins and no stars? Well, dude. When you, like, sometimes <laughs> I've had those, like, Mario Party games where, like, you win mini games, but you're not lucky enough to just run into the stars. You're always someone that beats two of them. So you just have no stars and a lot of coins. Waluigi is not having it today, man. <laughs> this is not a Waluigi day. That was not very cash money of you. Exactly. <laughs> What's happening here? Four player minigame. Catch you, letter. Dude, that's gnarly. Um. In this minigame, you commit a federal crime. <laughs> <laughs> tax evasion. <laughs> Who can evade more taxes? Wait, what is- I will tax evasion you did into you, oblivion! Did you know that it is a federal offense to take someone else's mail? All of these guys are committing federal offenses. <laughs> yeah. 
while Luigi commits yet another federal offense. Oh yeah, Yoshi here. Cause, you know, tax fraud jokes. Oh yo, I remember those. They lasted for like. They lasted why for a bit too keep, long. <laughs> why do they just keep running in circles and running into each other? Like you guys can't even walk straight. Like it's not that hard. Like. They're doing one. It's like one of those drunk tests where, like, hey, walk in this straight know. line. And it's like, ah, I'm not gonna... Walk in a straight line? <laughs> Wait, yo, we got emojis. Yeah, you got emojis. Oh my god. I'm gonna try Are you going to spam them. my chat with emojis? No, I'm not gonna spam it, but I just wanna. What if I type in search for emojis? Alright, well, with that, we've hard. reached the end of the game. Here are the stars. Here are the coins. <laughs> Were you looking for a free bird emoji? <laughs> okay. I just wanted to see if it exists. Okay. Urgh. Who is E Poodle? Hello, sir. Oh, yo, E Poodle! Thank you for coming back for, to the stream, bro. What's up, man? Yeah. What's up? Oh, man, dude. The orb star winner is Waluigi. Yeah, E Poodle, man. We used to play Mario Party and play all the time. Yeah, he's like, he's so, he's so cool. Uh, unfortunately, we're just finishing up this game, but that's okay because in 10 minutes we're going to start the next game. Like, and we were talking so much I didn't even I didn't even keep track of who won. I think it's Daisy. In fact, it is. It was. Oh, yep. There you go. It was me all along. Winner is Daisy. Duh. All right. Next game, we're placing bets. Or not bets, like actual bets, but we're just gonna predict. Yeah, sure. We have to make predictions. Okay. Um. Anyways. Uh, I'm pressing A. Yeah. There we go. Yeehaw. I'm going to take some screenshots, and uh, then we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. So, as soon as I finish up here. Epic. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Uh, screenshot this. Screenshot this. And screenshot this. And with that. Epic. See you all in 10 minutes. Uh, oh, I guess gotta turn on.